Hello, welcome. I'm just going to show you a few different ways you can use hyperlinks when creating documents, uh, namely PDF files. So here I've just been making a basically a terms of use PDF that would go with other files that I am um, selling online. Uh, I sell lesson plans mainly for teachers. So uh, I wanted something that I could add into the, the file that they purchased that would give them easy access to the various places where my own little business can be found. So uh, I'll just show you a couple of things that I personally find quite useful. So I've got a couple of different types of web links here. So I've got the, the standard hyperlink with text. You can see it's in blue. And I've also got uh, these basically buttons that I've made. Um, I didn't know this, maybe it's common knowledge, but you can actually just turn anything into a hyperlink using Affinity. So a couple of things I've got here is a uh, basically a shape, a rounded rectangle that I've actually nested into the, into the shape, uh, a logo and some basic text. Now, if I get that shape and just right click, I can actually add a hyperlink. So because I've already added one, it says edit hyperlink. So I'm actually going to make a new one. So I'll just make a basic shape and then I don't even have to put anything in it. I can just have a blank shape and I can actually insert a hyperlink. So I can decide on a few different options and for this one particularly, I'm just going to use a URL. So say I want to find a website and I want them to be able to access it. So I'll go to the website, the homepage for Netspace Arts, and I'll just paste that in, press OK. Now when I export that, uh, it will actually be a button that I can use in a PDF file. So I'll just show you what this looks like exported so here's the the main PDF and I've just got a few links here so these are actually embedded inside a rectangle I'll just show you quickly so they're actually inside a rectangle but they're also active hyperlinks themselves so it's quite convenient um, because you can make it look nice and clean and get away from that you know, simple text hyperlink. So uh, I'll show you. So here's just a picture of a lesson plan. And go back, click on TPT store. So they work perfect and you can customize them as much as you like. You can access it through the text panel as well. So if you click on text on, on whatever text you like, and just highlight the whole lot just to make sure you can go into interactive there and you can put in whatever you like um, this also works with your shapes so same thing um, or I just use right click it usually seems to work fine so right click and I can put whatever hyperlink I want in there another handy thing is it also if you've already used one in a document it actually just has a drop down box. You can actually add more than one. Like you can, maybe you want the home page on every page and maybe you forgot to add a master page at the start or you want it on a few pages. You can just right click, add the interactive and a drop down box will appear. So I hope this is helpful, it certainly helped me. And um, hopefully, you know, this sort of thing will attract some, some more customers and actually get some return customers, uh, which is something we always enjoy. Okay, thank you.